Mom, where are you guys? Hi, I'm Will, one of the writer-directors of Missing, a story about a teenage girl who is using her digital devices to try to find out what happened to her missing mom. Nick Johnson is my creative partner. We worked on two movies as editors before this, and then on this movie, we're working together again as writers and directors. Kevin and I are headed to LAX. Keep your location on the entire time I'm away. No fun, got it. So this movie was created in Adobe from start to finish. COVID made us remote to begin with, and it did feel very meta that this entire movie is told on screens, and we were making it entirely virtually over Frame.io and exchanging projects online. Austin and I would each be working in Premiere from our homes, but we had each other muted on Zoom all day moral for moral support. support, honestly. We started with a blank hard drive and an empty timeline, and we started taking screenshots of apps and Chrome windows on our own computers, and from those, we were able to start building rough versions of, of all the scenes. The previs was massive to the writing process. As we were finishing up the script, they were beginning on the previs, and we would watch clips of the previs on Frame.io and notice that a line wasn't playing right, or a scene was playing too long. It allowed us to very quickly turn around feedback, especially since you can just type in a note and it'll save it with the time code. And you know, we would mark up the frames, draw on them, which was very useful. At the beginning, we're using a ton of Photoshop. We would screenshot elements of our own computers, bring them directly into Premiere. And then every single one of our high-res graphics was created in Illustrator. We have these punch-ins throughout the movie that we wanted to not get pixelated, but to stay in beautiful 4K. Every graphic was replaced with a crystal clear vector graphic, and then camera shake was added. Every mouse was motion sketched to give it kind of that organic feel. Infinite details were added, and then the final movie was rendered directly out of After Effects, right to your screens. <laughs> Neither of us had really any experience with After Effects coming onto this film. But it was something that we were always constantly kind of joking with, like, when we get to that stage. They're gonna realize we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> but we jumped in and just having worked with all of the other Adobe products, it was so easy to just kind of pick it up. Now I'm just as comfortable in After Effects as Premiere. Yeah. Something we did on this in Adobe Premiere was we used adjustment layers. Using the adjustment layers became our virtual camera, figuring out alongside the directors how to cover the scene and using simple keyframing with a transform effect with those adjustment layers allowed us to create all of those shots just instantly. We didn't just draw a line in the movie and say, okay, you take the first half, I'll take the second half, let me know when it's locked. <laughs> we were super, super collaborative and we're constantly sharing scenes back and forth. It was really important at the very beginning of this process to have something like productions because it was the two of us and two assistant editors who were always needing to be inside the project. Using productions made it instantaneous to be able to do that. From the inception of this idea, it was always going to be the Adobe ecosystem that we were going to work within. I don't think that this film could exist without Adobe Creative Cloud. We never considered any other platform or set of programs for this. Anything is possible, but I wouldn't want to try it. And fun fact, there's actually no special plugins used in the creation of this. So we like to say that anyone at home with enough free time, and I guess also A-list actors could create a movie like this. Yeah.